Seven years ago was the first time I actually picked up a disc. I went to a course that's like five minutes from my house called Cedar Hills. I could only throw forehands because I used to play baseball. So my brother was better than me at the time and um, I'm pretty competitive so uh, yeah, he's not better than me uh, now. <laughs> so. Off the course as well, I'm like super competitive. I enjoy rock climbing. I'm going to school for singing. I'm majoring in vocal performance with a concentration in opera. I love music. I started piano lessons when I was like three. My dad plays the guitar. My mom sings in the like worship band at church back home. I, I'm hoping to do disc golf, but like, you know, that's a kind of fun fallback as well. Uh, so we'll see where it goes. This summer I've been hanging out with a bunch of the Eagles Wings guys. My faith is really important to me. I'm just very thankful that God's given me this opportunity to like, you know, come out here for the summer and play disc golf and he's given me the talent and uh, work ethic, I guess, to uh, be on lead card at a disc golf pro tour event, uh, which is absolutely crazy. A bunch of the guys uh, have like sent me messages and they keep my spirits up and uh, like whenever I'm shooting a bad round and we're always there for each other so it's been super nice. This is my first summer touring and so hopefully next summer I'll be able to come out on the road and hit up a lot of the pro tour events as well. This summer was just to see if I could keep up with the guys at the top and like what I need to work on in the off season. I start school tomorrow actually uh, on Monday which I'll be missing uh, the first day of class uh, because of the event. It's, it's been so much fun being on tour and getting to know everybody, playing great disc golf courses and great disc golf as well. My favorite saying is pressure is a privilege. I honestly don't have any pressure. If anything, from my point of view, I think Simon and Paul probably have the most pressure on them to catch this unranked uh, guy who's leading the tournament right now, right? If I go out and shred, that's great. And if I, if I don't, then that's how it goes, you know? I've put in the work that I need to to get here, you know? I've played two solid rounds so far, so there's no reason I can't play a third.